Good evening, everyone. This is Scott Brasner with your KTC News headlines for this date, Saturday, May 14th. A new Iberia car dealership is car dealership owner is facing felony charges after an altercation with a customer ended in gunshots being fired. According to the advocate, Justin Nathan was arrested yesterday. Around 11.30 a.m., authorities responded to a car dealership on West St. Peter Street in regard to the shots fire call. Police say during an argument between Nathan and the customer, Nathan shot at the customer who was accompanied by a two-year-old child and another person. Nathan is facing three counts of aggravated assault with a firearm and a count each of illegal discharge of a weapon and obstruction of justice. An Arnerville woman injured in a May 1st crash in St. Landry Parish has died. 72-year-old Elaine Arteague was injured in a crash near Port Barry on US 190 at LA 741. Troopers say Arteague was traveling south on 741 when she failed to yield at an intersection. That caused an SUV to hit her. Troop I has investigated 11 fatal crashes resulting in 13 deaths so far this year. And the Second Harvest Food Bank in Lafayette needs your help in restocking its pantries. The agency says it's seeing more people because of high inflation and food prices. Second Harvest is in need of shelf-stable foods like canned goods and other items that won't go bad, non-perishable types. You can drop items off at the food bank, 215 East Pinhook Road, from 7.30 until 4 in the afternoon. That is a look at news. Bradley standing by to look at your Saturday weather. Bradley? Hey, Scott. Well, maybe an isolated, quick passing shower this evening, uh, but that would be about it. Otherwise, mild conditions tonight, upper 60s to lower 70s. That's where we'll start our Sunday. It's going to be another hot one tomorrow as we round out the weekend. Temperatures, upper 80s to lower 90s into the afternoon. And with the heating of the day, can't totally uh, rule out one or two pop-up showers or thunder showers uh, into the afternoon and early evening hours, but uh, that would be about it. And then we're talking full on summer heat as we head into the new week. So temperatures, high temperatures will be pushing the lower to even middle 90s. Now with the ridge of high pressure moving back overhead, rain chances will also be on the low side, no better than around 10 to 20%. And then be on the lookout for that humidity. It's going to be back in full force, especially by the end of the week and then heading into the following weekend. Overnight lows trending upwards as well, eventually getting back into the lower and middle 70s. But well, that's going to do it for this news and weather update. For now, for future updates, keep it tuned to TV3.